and welcome to today's session on ways to promote a culture of positive behavior management. There are several techniques that can be adopted and adapted to create a positive classroom culture. They include establishing classroom rules at the beginning of the year, talking to the students at the beginning of each class to check in on their goals and well-being, making sure that different members of faculty within the school are consistent with their approach to students' behavior, giving reinforcements for appropriate behavior, being respectful towards students and parents, trying to remain neutral and determine the root of the problems by asking open-ended questions and promoting collaboration throughout the classroom. One example is the use of dialogue circles to support teachers in their classroom management. Research such as McCleskley et al. 2008 has shown that dialogue circles promote a safer school environment and reduce student misbehavior by maintaining a peaceful climate for learning. Through the use of these circles, Teachers have encouraged students to collaborate more by finding common ground to talk about, resolve conflicts on their own, or with peer-mediated groups as a means to create an environment that is conducive to student success. What exactly are these circles? School children gather and sit in a circle to discuss in a direct and open manner topics that are of interest to them such as bullying. In this way, the students can work through their differences and come to some kind of consensus. The discussions highlight fairness through understanding and pose challenges when they need to find solutions to the problems presented. Edwina Smith, a teacher at the school, found that the start to her school day was generally complex because each student wanted to share their personal stories with her. She needed to find a way to foster the building of open discussion among her learners. And so she introduced the practice of dialogue circles. Edwina now starts her day by doing a student activity based on mindfulness. This helps prepare her students for their day and focuses their attention. When they are all ready, she begins with her dialogue circle. In order to maintain order throughout the discussion, a symbolic talking piece is used, say a ball, and whoever has the piece can take the floor and begin the discussion. Topics are generally chosen at the beginning of the year, and as the conversation evolves, Edwina asks her students for opinions. The practice of circles was gradually implemented at Glenview Elementary School, and it was only after two years that there was a noticeable change in classroom behavior. Together with mindfulness activities and collaboration from teachers, the school has enjoyed a reduction in suspensions from 4% to less than 1%, and subjects such as math, science, and English language arts have seen a growth in the number of students passing state standards. And that brings us to the end of today's session on promoting a culture of positive behavior management. If you would like to explore more on any of the topics discussed, click on the links provided at the end of this unit. As always, remember to observe what is happening in your classes and be a reflective practitioner.